Hey guys, Aquaba, welcome to my channel. This is actually my first video of 2017 and I am back. This friendship is not going anywhere, but today let's talk about some travel, shall we? business to go to as many places I can as possible and as my usual ritual every two years I go home back to Ghana my country so that's what we're going to talk about today because when I posted a Ghana vlogs which I'm going to link to this video I had about a few people ask me about uh, Ghana and they would love to go and they want to know it looks so fun so today I'm gonna give you all the tips you need to survive in Ghana travel to Ghana and how to enjoy yourself when you get there so let's start now so there has been an increase in people traveling and people exploring new places and I am very happy that lately people want to travel to the continent of Africa because a lot of people have very bad biased imagery of Africa which is absolutely trash but now that people are seeing exactly what it is that we've been enjoying everybody wants to come and I'm okay with that if everybody wants to be African I'm okay with that but let's talk about traveling to Ghana so Ghana is uh, a sub-Saharan African country and it is in the west of Africa. It is between Ivory Coast um, or Côte d'Ivoire and Togo and then we're bordered on the north by Burkina Faso and on the south we have the Gulf of Guinea which is it. So there's so many places and bitches to go but let's talk about things. I have about 10 list that I've made here and we're going to go through them so this video may take a while but take your pen and your paper if you want to add anything to this conversation you're Ghanaian you want to add stuff you want to tell people to come to Ghana please do that in the comment section and let's go through this list and I'll tell you everything that you need to know so let's do it so <laughs> we're gonna do with this okay so number one is visa all right so if you're from the United States or Canada or some parts of Europe, you may need a visa to go to Ghana. Make sure you check on the Ghanaian embassy, wherever it is that you are. We have very good diplomatic relations with a lot of other countries, so just look it up. It's very easy to apply. Sometimes you just need to call the consulate and then they'll tell you what to mail in. If you're closed, they'll ask you to come by. And you also need a yellow fever vaccination, um, which lasts for 10 years. I mean, I've never seen anybody catch yellow fever all my years that I lived in Ghana. I never had anybody ever catching yellow fever, but I guess it's a requirement. So you want to check your embassies, check the consulates before you go. If you're from an African country, Ghana now has a program where you get a visa on arrival. So when you get to Ghana, if you're from any African country or you hold an African passport, African country passport, um, African Union passport, just get to um, Ghana, the airport at Kutuka, and then right on your right um, side after you pass through immigration, the first layer of immigration, you see that office on your right hand side, I believe it has visa written there, and then you go in and get a visa, but every other uh, US, um, the UK you need to get a visa which is not a very complicated process so that's number one thing for you to know very important we're gonna talk about flights to get to Ghana okay so I will tell you personally that I hate straight flights to Ghana only because I hate flying but Delta has straight flights from here jam New York City JFK to Ghana which is 10 hours um, South African Airlines has that, BA is also very good, KLM also has that, um, and they take you straight. Other um, flights would have to take you, of course, to your country of origin before they take you to Ghana, which can be a very long journey. So make sure you check now. This is how I book my tickets. A lot of times people buy your tickets for $1,500, $1,200, like I have never paid that for a ticket because what you need to do is let the airlines compete for your money. So go on Google Flights, enter the dates that you think you want to go, and then play with the dates. Change it up, change it. No matter what time of the year, off peak, on peak, whatever time it is that you want to travel, make sure you play with the dates until you get a cheaper fare. When I went to Ghana in January, I paid about $820 for my ticket. Yes, it's not cheap because it is a far away and you get breakfast, lunch. I mean, you're in there for 10 hours, so you might as well just 
<laughs> you know, you get the whole jazz. Um, there's leg room on the Delta flights. It's very, it's a very nice, smooth, you know, journey. It's not really bumpy. At least, cause I leave here in the evenings, and when I get to Ghana, it'll be in the morning, maybe around 7 a.m. or maybe 12 noon, depending on the times that I take. But yeah, this is what you have to do: play with Google Flights till you get a good price. Don't just jump whatever a travel agent tells you. Make sure you do your research and then you're ready to go. People who have never been to Ghana or people who haven't been back home in a long time or people who have been outside Ghana for a while and trying to go back. Ghana is a developing country and it is rapidly changing which brings me to number three what to pack okay so <laughs> what to pack make sure you pack really light um, as in lighter clothes a lot of cotton clothes a lot of you know just tropical very nice you know the weather is always great it has always been great when I was in Ghana um, but now it's kind of getting I don't know maybe it's a climate change it gets a lot warmer um, than I remember it to be so you want to do it if you're a girl and you think you're gonna go to Ghana and the first thing you're gonna put up your makeup forget it it's gonna melt right off your face <laughs> it will melt right off your face but when you usually go I mean there's not a good time to go anytime you want to go is a good time but make sure you pack really like cuz also you can buy you're gonna be buying a lot of things to bring back so make sure you're not having like you know big extreme luggages because you know you have to buy all these things for your family and your friends and make sure your personal items are not a lot because you'll be bringing back a lot of stuff you know what I mean so that would be number three okay so for some people you already are going to study abroad you have places in the university that you're going to be living at other places other people also you have family and friends which is great but there's also airbnb in ghana a lot of people lend your homes and your rooms for rent so you want to check airbnb and make sure that you get a good price you know negotiate it as much as everything in ghana is negotiable everything unfortunately but everything is negotiable so make sure you get good the hotels are very expensive if i say so myself they are very expensive it doesn't matter what kind of hotel for me personally some of the prices that they charge they sh some people should not be charging that because the service is not up to par but they still would charge those exorbitant prices so make sure you are ready for that if there's a way you can get to stay with your friends or your family absolutely do that but if not my advice would be to check Airbnb before you go book a hotel much better trust me on that haggling slash negotiation all right like i said everything in ghana is negotiable from the food to the clothes you buy to the taxis i mean if you go to a restaurant no one argue about prices because nobody like you can't do that but you have to negotiate whatever price it is that anybody ever mentions to you slash it by 50 percent all the time yes if you go out and one Ghana C one dollar is equal to 4.2 Ghana cities today that I'm talking I don't know it could play but just you know do the exchange convert it one dollar is four um, Ghana cities 20 pesos the pennies are 20 pesos if you know what I mean you, you get what I mean so for um, Ghana cities 20 pesos can't get you a lot so our standard of living is very high I mean we've been ranked to be the 20th most expensive country to live in worldwide so that should give you an idea that it is the level uh, standard of living is a bit high if you go pick a taxi and the taxi driver says um, his friend is 20 Ghana CDs tell him you're gonna give him 10 that is actually the real price your clothes <laughs> your face your accent who you're walking with determines how much you're going to be paying for stuff so make sure you go in then acting like you already know what to do always ask for half off I don't care what you're buying ask for half off do not get ripped off because you will get ripped off when it comes to prices things to do number six so I will recommend going on uh, mommy AJ's YouTube 
channel it is a girl going places she has a great she has a great video series on so many things to do to Ghana make sure you watch my Ghana vlogs I'm a mama my friend on here she also has great Ghana vlogs Larissa of the only way is Ghana I'm gonna link all their channels right here so you can click click when you're done watching this video you can go over there and watch um, your videos and there is um, a day day also she has a very good videos on what to do to God and, and do in Ghana there's so many places you can go I mean from I want I want if you're it is this is your first time um, going to Ghana I tell you or I encourage you to get out of Accra because Accra is like the capital of Ghana and it is stressful I was like I'm an Accra girl so I can tell you it is so stressful to be in Accra it sucks your energy you know you need to go outside go to Kumase go to the north Cape Coast Takarade Aksim um, go to Ada go to other places that are very nice over there but make sure you check all these channels so you have a good idea of what to do so you can make your list and it doesn't matter if you were born in Ghana you live in Ghana still you need to see what our country has to offer because we have a lot of things that we're yet to discover so make sure you check those channels out and make your list right away Let's talk about the people in Ghana my people in Ghana we are usually well we're known to be very hospitable and it's probably our downfall you know it is really our downfall being so welcoming to odd strangers but you know what people will hang out with you like they know you people will love you people are generally really nice you know they're very warm they want to take you places they want to hang out I, I mean everybody is pretty much nice you know people are really nice in Ghana and Ghanaians are really nice people I'm biased because I'm Ghanaian so maybe but for what I know the people are really warm they're really nice people will tell you directions and they will help you out as much as they can but you need to watch out for other unscrupulous people who may want to rip you off because you're a foreigner or they know that you can, you, you've been out of Ghana for a while so you don't know the currency conversion my mom she, I mean I up till day I still need to remind her what it is what to do what not to do sometimes because you know the conversion is sometimes very difficult for her so you need to watch out for that so you don't get ripped off and other people may try to kind of you know bring all your problems on you for us Ghanaians that we're here we go back home people want to tell you about everything that's going on in their lives and they're everything they want you to pay your way, your way for them make sure you don't do that you know what I mean that's just not I won't recommend that you do that but just people are nice but just watch out sometimes for that one bad apple in a bunch of hundred yeah you will find those okay so I have a whole playlist um, here on YouTube where I make African food I just make Ghanaian food okay but sometimes I add certain things to it because uh, my mom she's you know she's really savvy and stuff like that so I have a whole playlist I'm gonna link it here it's uh, Mukase which means kitchen you can check those videos about everywhere in Ghana you need to try the street food you know make sure you get on what's the name Pepto Bismol or like you need to take Pepto Bismol I used to pop them like they were mint they will settle your stomach um, before you go you know everything is good you know there's everything is great but that we eat very spicy food like when you watch my videos if you're familiar with my channel you know I eat a lot of pepper and even then sometimes I can take the pepper when I eat in Ghana so make sure you take it easy and get your Pepto Bismol whatever liquid tablets pills whatever make sure you pop those settle your stomach Take some Imodium in your first aid kits before you get there. But the food is great. You can eat some fufu. You can eat some chalo fries, which I have on my channel. Okay, now I'm getting hungry. So, in Ghana. So, I don't go out. I'm not a under town kind of gal. But, you know, if you want to go out, there are so many places you can go. There's so many pubs. There's so many spots. I think every time people say Irish people drink, I'm like, you guys are not met Ghanaians yet. Ghanaians drink a lot of alcohol, like a lot. Okay, so if you're a party person, you're gonna die because 
there's so many things that you are gonna taste and drink that is so different I don't drink alcohol at all I never have I never will drink alcohol in my life but if you're a party person there's so many places there's Rockstone's office um, there's Onyx Club there's a new club called Cabin when you go to Kumasi to the uh, other clubs um, there's a Vienna City um, oh my gosh there's this one that I went to I don't remember it's in Laboni as soon as I finish this video I'm gonna remember but right now I don't remember maybe I'll remember it and I'll write it here for you but there's so many clubs there's so many spots there's so many lounges and there's so many jazz oh there's two, um, plus two three three is a jazz club and they also play like high life inside it's a so great it's such a great place to be plus two three three i like plus two three three so check that out make sure you get all that information um before you go but if you're a party animal you're yeah you you're gonna die you're gonna get wasted that's for damn sure like maybe how much money do you need to go to ghana it depends on your spending habits like if you're a big spender, I mean, I'm not going to tell you how much money. Even though you know if you have more than $10,000 in cash, you're going to have to, you know, how you got it? Check it with immigration, you know, to declare where the hell you got that money from. <laughs> but if it's under that and you're just going to hang out, I will say that I personally, when I was in Ghana this time, I was there for two weeks and I took about $1,000. And I feel like it, in the end, I was kind of struggling to spend it. And I even have some CDs here with me. Because it was a lot. Like, you get what I mean? Maybe if you're like average earner or an average spender like I am, um, you could probably take maybe $500 for every two weeks. Unless you want to be Santa Claus and you want to give gifts away and you want to help everybody. That's a whole different scenario. But if you're an average spender, you probably need maybe $500 or maybe $1,000 a month. You know, just to... That's an average though. Or you're a small spender, or you're a medium spender like me. If you're a high earner and high spender, like that's up to you. But I don't really spend a lot of money like that. So maybe a thousand dollars for a month, I think, should be converted into whatever currency it is that you're listing from um, your country is in. But I think that should be just about enough. Just about enough for somebody who just you know just chilling. That would be cool. And the beaches and stuff. There's, I mean, I told you we are boarded on the South Bank Gulf of Guinea, so there are a lot of like beaches scattered in Accra, Cape Coast, Adan. There, there's Aqua Safari in Adan. There's one Manette Paradise, which I don't know if it's still there, but I've been to Manette Paradise like twice in Adan, and that was great. There's Labadi Beach. There's Mayakova. There's um the one that I put in my Ghana vlog is called Sandbox Beach. Um, also in Accra, Laboni, um, you can go to Cape Coast, go to Takarade, um, there's Buzua Beach in Takarade. It's great. It's all over the place. There are beaches, resorts, there's Royal St. Chi, the Easting region, there's Beiji Village, which is a golfing, um, you know, resort. It, it's like whatever your kind of entertainment is, you can get it all over Ghana. If you like water sports, you can do that. If you like... You know, just you want to go inside, um, maybe a jungle. We don't have a jungle in Ghana, we don't. It's like maybe the rainforest. You can go to Kakum National Park, see what is going on there. You can go to so many places. You can go to the north. Oh my god, you need to go to the north. The Zaina Lodge. I'm gonna put it the spelling here. Go there, it is so beautiful. Next time I go to Ghana, I'm just going there. It's right in the middle of Mole National Park. Um, you can see. You're like elephants and you're like all that kind of safari, the cliche safari rides are over there in the northern part of Ghana. So there's so many activities that you can do as well. So make sure you check that out before you go. Now, the vibe in Ghana is great, but I'm biased. So I don't know. The vibe in Ghana is great. People are great. The food is great. The climate is great. It's so idyllic. Um, the political atmosphere if you care about that a lot of people may not care about that i care about that it's calm um i mean there's never been a civil war you know we have a few corrupt leaders here and there but if you're just on vacation you probably don't have to worry about that unless you want to move to ghana if you want to move to ghana go over to the only way is ghana youtube channel larissa she moved from the uk to ghana so she documented her whole 
transition and that is so interesting to watch hopefully one day i can do that too soon but go over there if you want to move but yeah that will be the end of this vlog if you have any questions any comments whatever if i said something that you want to add something to put it down in the comment section my name is nana i will be back next week with something else but until then make sure you thumbs up this video subscribe share it with all your friends on your social media everywhere and i will catch you next time you take care be good right have a great 2017 i'll see you later